Kia ora, and welcome to day 23 of Month Done and a month of mindful moments with tangling. Today I want to do a very simple lineal tangle which enjoys both a curved stroke and a straight stroke. First of all, I want to use a line to mount our tangle on. And so just across my page, I'm just going to draw a line, a straight line or a wiggly line, it doesn't matter, across our spread today. The tangle that I want to do is called Hakusai by Sayomi Koitki. It is based, and she gets her influenced, from this beautiful woodblock print by Kashuhai Hokusai. He was a Japanese artist and printmaker of the Edo period, and is best known as the author of the woodblock print series 36 Views of Mount Fuji. This one includes the internationally iconic print The Great Wave of Kanawanga. We can see here where she gets her influence from for this tangle. So with our base sea line, we want to create some waves. Along this line, or sorry, above this line, we're going to cr create some odd sea strokes. So I'm just going to rotate my book this way. I'm going to draw the letter C. But each time you draw the letter C, just change it slightly. It might be small, and then they might be big. They might be slightly flat, or they might be quite deep. Each time you draw a C, just draw it at a slightly different angle or a different curve as we're following along our, beside our line here. See how many different ways you can draw your C, an even deep angled. Here we have our C's. This is our curved stroke and now we're going to add the straight strokes. In between each C, you're going to go from the bottom of one C to the top of the next one using a straight line. This might be the letter V, or you could even throw in the letter Z. But each time you're going from the bottom of one C and joining it on to the top of the next. If you prefer to have a little bit of a curve in there, you might also choose to do a curved V or a big Z. Perhaps there might even be the odd M in there. Each time you do it, just go from the bottom of one to the top of another. We'll do this across our spread. Once we've done this, I want to use a couple of embellishments, a little drama to these lines to make them 3D. So I'm going to imagine there is a great shadow here. And off on the left hand side of all my strokes, I'm just going to add a thicker line to make it add in a bit of drama. Each time you have a look, we're just going to change them to make these strokes 3D. Gently look and see where you might need to add an extra bit of drama. Perhaps it's quite thin, or perhaps it can be a little thicker. Each time I'm taking a point at the top and going down the left hand side of each stroke, and then filling in with the drama. Sometimes if it's quite a flat stroke, there might be only a little bit of extra ink. Perhaps when it's very obvious or very upright, you can throw in something wider. It's a different technique to the way we might normally add a little bit of drama, but 
it can be a very effective way of making a line look a bit thicker on one side. You might call it weighting. As well as adding a little bit of drama to all of these, I also want to add another thing, another enhancement technique on the other side of some perfs. So I'm just going to add some little drama perfs that just sit on the line on the right hand side of each of these characters. They're only little orbs, almost like slightly bigger dots. And I'm only doing it on one side of the strokes. So I have drama on one side and little perfs on the other. With the perfs, just gently move your pen carefully to try and make your perfs about the same distance apart each time. Perfs stand short for perforations, so think of them as regular holes. If you're old enough, you'll remember the perforated paper from dot matrix printers. If you're not old enough, then it's probably just as well you don't remember them. So there we go. Our Hockey sigh tangle coming along. If you'd like to add a bit of shading, I'm actually just going to pop a little bit of shading just right underneath my line here. Just to sit the whole tangle up off the paper. Perhaps there might be a tiny amount of shading just in the pockets of the C-curves. When you know the steps of a tangle, it can be quite fun to think of each of those individual strokes as an area where you need to concentrate a little bit of shading. But as you know the process of the tangle, it should be easy for you to find those C strokes on this tangle and just pop your shading there. So there we have Hokusai. And our prompt today, I tell my younger self. Think back to what advice you might have given your younger self. It may even be your not so younger self from even at the start of the month when we started with Marisu. I wonder what you might look back now and tell yourself from when you drew that tangling there. Yours, of course, may not look like mine, and that's great, because remember this journey is not mine, this journey for you is yours. I just hope that I have allowed you to slow down and think about how you tangle a few techniques and focus on your pen line here and now. I look forward to joining you joining me tomorrow.